Well, since this year's almost over and YouTube and the internet is rotting from the inside, how about we take another gaze into the old school YouTube reviewing scene? Now I know that old school YouTube reviewing is a stale topic and it's kind of pointless to just continue to talk about it, but I think for this time of year, it's good to kind of pause and reflect upon the past in order to see where we're going in the future. With that said, sit back and enjoy. Now this is another YouTuber that I wanted to do a video on for quite a while, but I didn't really see a point. Now Wizwar100 was a lot like many of the other rising YouTubers in the mid-2000s, like Armic21 and Play It Bogart. In fact, that's where I first heard about him, was from one of Armic21's earlier videos recommending him. Looking back, a lot of his videos were kind of middle of the road. Not necessarily awful, but when he wasn't just ripping off the nerd with the same scatological humor, he just kind of rambled a bit. Now, Armic21 and Play It Bogart did the same kind of style of raunchy humor, but I feel like Wizwar's stuff never really stood out compared to the other guys. He didn't really have his own voice. And that's the problem when you're following a set format that has been just basically done to death. You're just doing the same thing again and again. And that could be said with a lot of reviewers, especially at that time, who were just doing the same angry reviewer stick instead of coming up with their own style or flavor. Heck, you probably say the same thing about my videos. No wonder my viewership is languishing. expect you to react like two seconds earlier before you actually do anything. Who's the goddamn son of a scary mama fucker that thought this was a good idea? Really, I feel like I'm just repeating myself when I mention the early days of a lot of these reviewers. Around 2006 or 2007, Wizwar ended up losing his account due to forgetting his password. So a new account was made, LazyWorks Creations, which eventually just became his current channel. And for a time, he also had a website, which is no longer active. So there's a fresh new domain for you if you want to snag that one up. A lot of the newer stuff on his second channel felt more contemporary and in line with a lot of the content that was being produced in the mid-2010s on YouTube. No longer were his reviews loud and obnoxious, filled with scatological humor, but more calm and focused on actually explaining the product. And while by no means were these videos amazing, but they were really informative and definitely an improvement over his older work. Now, for those of you who don't know who Arc System Works is, they're the people behind the Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue series. Yeah, those guys. So, despite the fact that this port of the game is not handled by Sega themselves, I'm still gonna make fun of them for making this version of the game. Indeed, we are Wizwar. To this day, Wizwar will occasionally make videos and upload them on his Let's Play channel, but he seems to favor Twitch over YouTube. Given the current state of YouTube, I don't really blame him. Though it's not like Twitch is any better with its current terms of service and how it handles the various cam girls just turning the website into chatterbait. Thank you so much for masturbating over my stream and donating $2,000, you virgin. Let me go ahead and write you down on the board right here. Wow. Can you guys show him some love? Can you guys show him some love? Recently, I hopped onto one of his streams, and he does a lot of speedruns of pretty well-known games. In fact, he holds the current world record for a speedrun on Battletoads for the Game Boy. He's a pretty chill guy, you should definitely check out his Twitch, and I'm not being paid to shill, so just in case you're wondering. Yeah, I, I used to do uh, video game reviews online for entertainment, and then when I tried to uh, do it seriously as like, um, like an online uh, YouTube job, it was just like, uh, I, I screwed up. I screwed up and I lost the uh, early opportunity. Like, I was... I was like one of the uh, original reviewers on uh, YouTube. But then I tried to take it seriously and, you know, started a, a website and all that stuff. But it was like, at that point, it was too late. I squandered the opportunity to, uh, to like, uh, make a name for myself on YouTube. I mean, I still kind of did. Like, I'm kind of like a, the niche kind of reviewer that people watch. It's always good to know that no matter how commercialized and sanitized YouTube gets, there will always be a handful of people who will just keep that spirit of content creating alive. Now I'm as cynical as your usual millennial, but doing these kinds of videos helps build my optimism for all the different content creators in the future. 
Things may not be all that sunny, but there's still hope. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.